Out of all the offerings from the cancelled Geneva Motor Show, there's one car that for me stands head and shoulders above the rest, and it's the new four-door Koenigsegg, the Gemera. It creates 1,700 brake horsepower, 1,100 of which comes from electric motors, and the other 600 comes from internal combustion. But the kicker is that 600 horsepower doesn't come from some high capacity turbocharged V8 like normal Koenig's eggs. This 600 brake horsepower comes from a three cylinder engine. Most three cylinder engines these days, even when you slap a turbo on them, create around 200 brake horsepower. So how the hell has Koenig's egg got triple that figure from such a tiny engine? Well, there's two reasons, and the second reason is definitely the coolest, but let's start with the first reason. The first thing you guys need to know is that Koenigsegg has a sister company called Freevalve. Freevalve has been pioneering engine tech for a few years now, but only now has this tech actually reached a full production car in the shape of the Gemera. The three-cylinder engine is camless, meaning that it doesn't use camshafts to open and close the intake and exhaust valves like in a normal internal combustion engine. The camshafts are replaced by pneumatic actuators that compress and release the valve springs to open and close individual valves. It's all controlled by electrical connectors above, which use incredibly accurate position sensors. Instead of relying on a cam load to open and close a valve for a certain amount of time and a certain distance, the free valve system allows for constantly variable timing to maximise efficiency, emissions and most importantly in Koenigsegg's case, power and torque. The main leap in performance comes from being able to control each valve individually, which means every single suck, squeeze, bang and blow from each cylinder can be monitored that information then sent through Free Valve's electronic system and then the whole thing communicated to a single valve movement instead of relying on the mechanical restriction of a set camshaft. As well as being able to control engine timing to a whole new level, there's also going to be less mechanical friction because there's no need for a timing chain or belt, a cam driving gear and there's also not going to be that metal on metal contact between a camshaft and a cam follower. That means a free valve camless engine can be made much smaller than a normal engine and also because of its electronic nature, cylinder deactivation is incredibly easy. And there's no need for a throttle body either, the whole thing is completely controlled by those electronics and the valves. But that's not all, now on to my favourite part of this new innovation from Koenigsegg. The three cylinder engine isn't just turbocharged, it's twin turbocharged. Now I know what you're thinking, how do you spool up two turbos with three cylinders? It shouldn't really work, you can't cleanly divide three by two. Well it all comes down to the exhaust valves, there's two exhaust valves in each cylinder, now that's nothing new, but each exhaust valve has its own exhaust pipe, that's right two exhaust pipes per cylinder. The first exhaust pipe goes to the first turbo and the second exhaust pipe goes to the second turbo. At low RPMs, the second exhaust valve stays shut, meaning that all the air goes to the first exhaust pipe and spools up the first turbocharger. At higher RPMs, the second exhaust valve in each cylinder opens, sending air to the second turbocharger and suddenly you have a twin turbo in line 3. So I guess if you were to look at the exhaust side of the Gemera's engine, you'd see something that essentially resembles a mini straight six, making a twin turbo setup viable. Three into two doesn't really work, but six into two very much does. The camless engine tech coupled with this two-stage turbo setup combines to form that frankly ludicrous 600 brake horsepower figure. And don't worry about it sounding like crap by being a three-cylinder engine. It's got two litres of displacement, which is huge for a three-cylinder, and apparently that means it gives off a really deep, throaty soundtrack because of that volume and also a set of a Krapovich exhaust. You'll need proper E85 fuel to get that 600 brake horsepower figure, but if you can afford a Koenigsegg, you're not going to skimp on the fuel bill, and I imagine you're going to be able to find some of that fuel. So yeah, the new Alpha GTA looks lovely and the new Bugatti Chiron, the track focused one, looks like an absolute beast, but the coolest thing to come from Geneva this year is definitely this incredible little engine. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to Drive Tribe. <laughs>